I'm Anil Kumar and now let us understand how to apply the cast rule to find sine of any trigonometric ratio. Question is, what is the sign for each of the following trigonometric ratio? Do not calculate its value. So we have three examples. The first one is sine 123, then we have cosine of minus 160 degrees and cotangent of 225 degrees. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, answer, and then look into my suggestions. While in this video, let us understand how to apply the cast rule and find whether the sign of trigonometric ratio is positive or negative. Right? So, here is our coordinate plane, and we know that it has four coordinates coordinate 1, 2, 3, and 4. The cost rule is that cos is positive in quadrant 4, all are positive in quadrant 1, sine in quadrant 2, and tan in quadrant 3. Well, some of us remember it as all students take calculus or all silver tea cup. So there are so many different ways to remember in which quadrant each one of the trigonometric ratios is positive or negative, right? So in quadrant 1, all are positive. In quadrant 2, sine is positive, right? In 3, only tangent or reciprocal cotangent will be positive. In 4, cosine and its reciprocal secant will be positive, correct? Now let's look into the example one by one. Sine of 123. Now the angles are, we, we have angles in standard position, so this is the initial arm. And the terminal arm is at 123 degrees, right? Now that is 90 degrees, this one is 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and back to 360 degrees. 123 will be somewhere here, perfect. So let us say that 123 is kind of terminal arm landing up in quadrant 2. Now in quadrant 2, what is positive? Sine is positive. So, sine 123 should have a positive value. Got it. Okay. Now let's look into cosine of negative 123. Now for cosine of negative 123, what do you think is the sine? Negative means we have to move clockwise, not counterclockwise, from the initial arm. So 160 degrees means less than 180. So when we move, we'll be kind of somewhere here, right? So that is where. So that is minus 160 degrees, correct? Since we are in quadrant 3, where only tan is positive, cosine should be negative. So this answer should be negative, okay? Now let's look into the last one for us, which is cotangent. Now some of us may not know what cotangent is, so therefore let me write this as 1 over tan, right? So cotangent is reciprocal of tan, so we are talking about 1 over tan of 225. Now, 225 is more than 180, less than 270, so therefore we should be landing somewhere here, right? So let us say we are in quadrant 3. If you are in quadrant 3, tan is positive. So 1 over tan will be positive also, right? So cotangent will be positive. So we are expecting a positive sign when the angle is 225 degrees for cotangent also, right? So that is how we can actually apply the cost rule and figure out whether we are expecting a positive answer or a negative answer. Remember, in these four quadrants, all are positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2, 3, and 4, sine, tan, and cosine are respectively positive, as we see from the cast rule. Thank you.